So we're kicking off our swing state spotlight this week, focusing on Georgia. I had the pleasure of visiting your great city last year. I love downtown. Tell me a little bit about the political landscape of Georgia right now and what, what it's like to be in the crosshairs of such a tight race. Well, the reality is, is that the road to the White House goes through Georgia. Uh, we believe that the lane to that road goes through uh, Savannah and coastal Georgia. Uh, we have received unprecedented attention because we've recognized that here in Georgia, although we are Republican-led, uh, voters here have had a, a very independent mind. So we have a majority Republican legislature, but we have uh, two Democratic uh, senators representing us uh, in Washington, D.C., and, of course, we went for Biden and Harris um, in 2020. Uh, for us, this is a big deal. The vice president has been here twice. Um, Former President Trump is coming here tomorrow. Um, they have to make their cases between for voters in this, this, this area. Uh, let's talk about black voters for a moment. Black voters matter. These activists moving across Georgia on Friday, they held a rally in your city. Uh, Get out the vote. Student event was also held at Savannah State University. What's on the mind of black voters? And specifically, as you talk about Kamala Harris, how is she addressing the needs of that demographic versus what we saw with Biden in 2020? Well, I think that, first of all, representation is everything. Uh, secondly, black voters are not a monolith. So, you know, I think sometimes people will say, what do black people think? I think we, we think a whole lot of things, depending where we are in the situation. Uh, but I think that uh, Vice President Harris represents uh, someone different. Uh, she has a lived experience that is very similar to many of us. Uh, she went to a HBCU, a historically black university, as I did. I went to the Savannah State University. Um, she understands the need of preparing um, young um, black people and people of all colors to be able to do well and be able to succeed and be able to have the opportunities that many of us have been afforded to. She speaks to the middle class. She speaks to those working moms and dads. She speaks to women and how they feel about their bodies. She, she speaks to, to a great part of America and really what Georgia is now, which is why um, she has resonated so well here. Uh, she came here a couple of weeks ago, um, packed out our in-market arena, um, near 10,000 people there. Uh, they were excited to see her, and we hope she comes back. Uh, so Trump right now in the state of Georgia is polling neck and neck with Kamala Harris. Uh, he's at 47.8 percent. She's at 47.9 percent. He's got this rally in your city tomorrow. Talk to me about what he's saying and that, how that's being received by voters in your community and also the security around his visit, given now the news this morning of that second assassination attempt. Well, let me start with the latter first. Um, mm -hmm. The fact is, Savannah is an international city. We are well used uh, to international and high-profile guests. Um, we will make sure that President Trump uh, is safe while he is in our city, as we have for every other um, high-profile dignitary that we've had here. So we'll take care of that. Um, you know, the reality is, is that President Trump um, doesn't necessarily speak to the needs of many folks here in our community. Uh, he's coming here as a convicted felon. Uh, he's coming here um, saying things about people of color that have been outlandish, um, things about eating cats and, and dogs and those types of things. Um, he's flip-flop on many, many issues. Uh, he has not really spoken to the needs of, of the middle class. He's coming here because he realizes he's lost his lead here. And so, therefore, he has to try to come back. Uh, you know, and so he's welcome here. We'll be glad to have him in our city. Savannah's open for everybody. Um, and he's using a much smaller venue than what Vice President had. So it's about 8,000 seats less than what she had when she was here a couple of weeks ago. Interesting. Uh, finally, Mr. Mayor, uh, tell me something about your state. I know you love where you live, where you're from, um, that most people might not know about Savannah. Oh, wow. Savannah is an amazing city. Uh, we are where Georgia first began. We're the first capital, the first city. We are a, a military city. We are a college community. Uh, we are a riverfront community. We're a coastal community. Um, we're where Forrest came to see Jenny. Um, we are a city that is very, very proud uh, in, in many things, and we certainly hope that you will come back, and we invite everybody to come visit Savannah.org, I believe it is. I love Savannah. I'll definitely be back and encourage everyone else to do so as well. Mayor Johnson, uh, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you so much.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.